chapter 3 through the ninth verse. Hey God, the second chapter 3 through the ninth verse. Hey God, second chapter 3 through the ninth verse. Everybody have it? Amen. Hey God. Next to Zephinity. Yes. Yeah. Right before Zechariah. In the Old Testament. Somebody help. Sister Mickey get it? Hey God. Second chapter. Third through the ninth verse. Hallelujah. Thank God for bringing her back safely old from California. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, Thank for answering Lord. prayers. Hallelujah. Second chapter, the ninth verse. Reads like this. Who is left among you that saw this house in her first glory? Yeah. And how do ye see it now? My Lord. Uh -huh. Is it not in your eyes in comparison of it as nothing? Uh -huh. Yet now be strong, O Zerubbabel, said the Lord, and be strong, O Joshua, yeah. son of Jesdek, the high priest, and be strong, all ye people of the land, said the Lord, and work. For I am with you, said the Lord of hosts, according to the word that I commanded with you when you came out of Egypt. So my spirit remaineth among you, fear ye not. For thus said the Lord of hosts, yet once it is a little while and will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land. And I will shake all nations, and the desire of all nations shall come. And I will fill this house with glory, said the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, said the Lord of hosts. The glory of the latter house shall be greater than of the former, said the Lord of hosts. And this place I will give peace. Said the Lord of hosts. All right. If I was to leave a subject today, it will be rebuilt. Try it again. Rebuild! Explanation point. Try it again. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. The prophet Isaiah was trying to encourage, hallelujah, the people of Israel to remain 
in their glory as they saw the house of God. Hallelujah. They got comfortable, hallelujah, with the house of God. Lord have mercy. And in their comfortable, God has trying to tell them, do it a second time. Try it again and do it a second time. Start over. Let him give you another chance to redeem yourself. Yes, Bishop. Let him give you another chance to get it right. Amen. Hallelujah. And to do it better this time. You look at the house of God now. Hallelujah. You say it's all right. Hallelujah. But God wants to shift it. God wants a paradigm shift. He wants to shake it up. Hallelujah. And give you better. Lord help me. Are you in the position ready for the better? Come on. Lord have mercy. He wants to re-strategize your thought. Hallelujah. He wants to change your way of thinking in your mind. Hallelujah. Try to give you a different outcome. Hallelujah. On the house of God. Yes. Yes. For shifting in this world. Hallelujah. It's covering. Hallelujah. The gift of being stirred up. Haggai 1 and 4 says, It is time for ye, O ye, to dwell in your sealed house. And this house lay wait. The fourth verse of the first chapter of Haggai said, You are comfortable in your own house. Hallelujah. You're comfortable in your surroundings. But when you come to God's house, it's lying in waste. Lord have mercy. Things could be better in the house of God. You can do better in the house of God. Amen. It is time for you, O oh, ye that dwell in your sealed house. This is the house of waste. It's time for you, hallelujah, to be shaken up. It's time for God to shake up your surroundings and your environment. It's time for God to shift you into the right spirit from living comfortable in your house and God's house undone. It's time, hallelujah, to shake up your surroundings. Now, therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, consider your ways. Consider how you've been doing. God's house, the Lord says, remembers God's house. We can do better, but we can we but we fail to do better. When we had the chance to do better, huh? we hold back our funds. Huh? When we had a chance to do better, huh? all we could think about was ourselves. Huh? All we could think about how we could do better for ourselves. Huh? Or we could even fix the air, huh? get the air condition fixed. Huh? But we failed to do that. Huh? We can get new rugs, huh? but we failed to do that. Huh? We are comfortable in our own house. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? We can even go out huh? and get a new building huh? for a better church. Huh? Some, huh? Some things. Huh? But God has given you a second chance. Huh? Hallelujah. He's given you a second chance huh? to do your first work over. He said, why get comfortable in your house does it look glory now hallelujah but the former house that God is trying to embrace you with he wants better for the house of God he wants better for a new day he's giving you a second chance to do better hallelujah thank you Jesus God has given you a second chance huh, to rebuild a paradigm shift huh, in your spirit. Huh? Not thinking what I can do huh, to better my situation huh, or myself. Huh? But God is shifting you huh, to better God's house. Huh? Rebuild God's house. Because huh? you're the remnant. Huh? It don't take a mega church. Huh? It don't take a lot of people. Huh? But a few the remnant. Huh? God is trying to tell you something. Huh? If you build God's house huh, and you better God's house, huh, he will take care of your house. Huh? But you leave God's house undone. Huh? He will shake your house huh? upside down. Huh? He will rattle your house. Huh? God. Come on with it. Preach. Lord have mercy. You have so much. You have so you have so much. Some of you have made a lot of money. Made plenty of money. Hallelujah. And bring it in little unto the house of God. Oh, 
bringing fragments until the house of God. Wow. Whom am I talking to? My God. Are you guilty? Yeah. Hallelujah. No. Did you eat of God's prosperity? Come on. But ye have not. So you eat. But you have not enough. So you drink. But you are not filled with your drink. Hallelujah. You are dehydrated in the spirit. You're almost always thirsty for more. You can't get enough for yourself. Hallelujah. But what about God's house? Lord, have mercy. He closed you. But you're still not warm. And you that earn his wages. Hallelujah. You ain't just earn his wages. To put it in a bag. With holes in it. My God. Lord have mercy. Thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That said the Lord of hosts. Consider your ways. Rebuild God's house. Rebuild God's house. You look for much. Hallelujah. And lo, it came a little. And when you brought it home, I did blow on it. Why? Because the house of God is undone. You fell to do the house of God. But God is giving you a second chance. God is telling you today to rebuild. God is telling you today to help your church. God is telling you today, don't look no further. God is telling you today, he's shifting your mind to where you used to think. You don't think no more. God is shifting your atmosphere. Hallelujah. To work in your own church. Hallelujah. Don't get comfortable. Hallelujah. It made it glorious. But God is changing the ladder to your former. He's making it better for you. He wants you to do better. All right. Yes, yes he does. In every area. God is taking care of everything. God is taking care of everything. Right where you stand. God is taking care of it. Hallelujah. Don't you think you're working hard? Saw it shaking up. And he desired all nations to be shook up. Hallelujah. And he said the silver and the and the and the gold is mine. Lord have mercy. And the glory of the latter house shall be greater than of the former. Come on. Hallelujah. Said the Lord of hosts. And the place I give peace. Hallelujah. Said the Lord of hosts. God is trying to tell you something. The, the house that he's given to you is going to be greater than this. The house that is given to you is going to be peace. You don't have to worry about the keyboard player. You don't have to worry about the instruments. You don't have to worry about the rug or the pews. But God is better in his place. Because your labor is not in vain. Your preaching is not in vain. Your living is not in vain. Your praising is it's not in vain. God is going to shift the earth. He's going to shake up something in the atmosphere. God is shifting right now. While we stand, we're going higher. Some of you are going to the next level, the next dimension in the spirit, in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Shake up the gift. not by accident that you're here but it's by the spirit of God because God is trying to tell you something yes he is 
Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. God is trying to tell you something. God is doing it all around. Blessing us with silver and gold. We can't even see it. But he's blessing us with it. He's getting us out of our trouble. Hallelujah. Because he's giving a better of your life. He's getting us out of trouble. Because he wants you to do for him before God. He's getting you out of trouble. Because he wants you to do more in God's house. God is shifting your atmosphere. So you can fulfill the desires of your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Rebuild and try it again. All right. Thank you.